I'm back. So I'm back in the U.S., I'm back to my normal routine, and hopefully I can get back to normal recording, and I finally, okay, not finally, because I finished up all the research a month ago, um, but I have compiled now for you 100 facts about Pennsylvania. There is really no rhyme or reason to the order, there... There are groupings of facts, because as soon as I leech on one fact, I just kept jumping to the other. So, you know, when you start hearing a sports fact, brace yourself, because then you're just going to a bunch of sports facts. But on the whole, I've compiled for you 100 different facts specifically pertaining to Pennsylvania. And with that, we're going to get into the video, and I'd like to thank you for watching. And hopefully you'll stick around all the way to the end, but uh, here we go. 100 facts about Pennsylvania. The first public library in the United States, the Library Company of Philadelphia, was founded by Benjamin Franklin in 1731. The first hospital in the United States, the Pennsylvania Hospital, was founded in 1751 in Philadelphia. The first theater in America, the Walnut Street Theater, was opened in 1809 in Philadelphia. The first documented use of an emoticon was used by Scott Fallman at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh on September 19, 1982. And this is the emoticon that he chose when he put it on his paper to his students. The first World Series game was the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Boston Red Sox in 1903. The Sox beat the Pirates five out of the nine games, and apparently back then the World Series was nine games as opposed to seven. The first large-scale digital computer the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, or ENIAC, was completed in Philadelphia in 1945. It was primarily constructed for calculating artillery firing tables, which is something this has something to do with projectile behavior and trajectory, um, but was later used for calculations for the first thermonuclear bomb, which is not to be confused with the first atomic bombs. The first American commercial nuclear power generator was opened on May 26, 1958. The shipping port atomic power station was built 25 miles outside of Pittsburgh on the Ohio River. The Philadelphia Zoo was the first zoo built in the United States. It opens its gates on July 1, 1874 and is responsible for the first successful orangutan and chimpanzee births in the U.S. On April 2, 1792, Congress passed the Coinage Act, therefore establishing the need for a mint. Congress chose to build the first mint, in first, which was also the first federal building, in the nation's then capital, Philadelphia. The nation's first daily newspaper, the Philadelphia Packet and Daily Advisor, was founded in Philadelphia in 1784 and was published for six years. Pennsylvania has over 40 active coal mines as of 2020 and has over 5,000 different abandoned mines in the state. Oh boy, these ones I'm not even going to try to pretend like I'm not reading right off the screen. All right. The Philadelphia Phillies are the seventh oldest baseball team, formerly known as the Philadelphia Quakers, forming officially in 1883. The Phillies, however, are the oldest continuous one name as well as one city franchise in any American professional sport. The Pittsburgh Pirates are the fourth oldest baseball team, forming in 1881 with the formal introduction to the MLB or Major League Baseball in 1882. The team was formerly known as Allegheny, then Pittsburgh Alleghenies, then Pittsburgh Pirates, but without an H, and then finally they got the Pittsburgh Pirates with an H. The Philadelphia Athletics were an MLB team from 1901 to 1954, after which they moved to Kansas City, and then in 1967 they moved along to Oakland, which they are the Oakland A's, or the Oakland Athletics now. Yingling, which is the oldest brewery in America, was founded in 1829 by D.G. Yingling and Sons in Pottsville. There are four Frank Lloyd Wright houses in Pennsylvania, Falling Water, Kentuck Knob, Duncan House, and Mantilla. Mantilla. Mant Mantilla. Mantula. Sure, why not? 
229.6 miles of the Appalachian Trail runs through Pennsylvania, which is allegedly known as the place where boots go to die because of its rough terrain and its arduous impact it does on people's hiking boots. As of 2021, the population of Pennsylvania was 12.96 million people, which is fifth in the U.S. Suck it, New Jersey, number 11. Pennsylvania is the second largest nuclear power capacity state in the U.S. with nine total nuclear reactors at five plants across the Commonwealth. Of those nine, there are only four active plants and the other five are inactive. Scranton, Pennsylvania is the very real town that the show The Office takes place in. While locations are mentioned in the show are very real, most of the filming takes place in Los Angeles with a handful of exception of things that have to take place specifically in Scranton. The Pittsburgh Pirates have made seven World Series appearances, winning five of them, which is 71.4% success rate, while the Philadelphia Phillies have also made it to seven World Series games, only winning two of them, which is a 28.5% success rate. The Philadelphia Athletics made eight appearances and lost all eight games, which is 0%. This puts a grand total of appearances that Pennsylvania has made in the World Series to 22, which is 18.6% of all of the uh, World Series so far, which I probably should get that number somewhere. We'll just put it, we'll put it right here. Um, and seven wins, which is 5.9%. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is another Pennsylvania-based show that was filmed both in Los Angeles and Philadelphia, but I still don't know if I can ever forgive the cast for the way they keep calling it the Wawa, and it, 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 we just call it Wawa. Like, hey, can you go down to Wawa and get us some hoagies? Or, hey, you can go down to Wawa and get some tea, or I'm going to go to Wawa and get some gas. Not, I'm going to go down to the Wawa. It just, mm, it's just like nails on a chalkboard. Max Tavern is a real bar partly owned by Rob and Kaylin McElhenney, which is, who is Ronald Mac McDonald and Deandra D. Reynolds in Old City on Market Street. Tun's Tavern was a tavern and brewery which was located in Philadelphia, which was the birthplace of the Marine Corps, or at that time it was called the Continental Marines, forming on November 10, 1775. The Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania is a 50-mile stretch of the Pine Creek Gorge with depths of up to 1,000 feet. Crayola is headquarters in Forks Township, Pennsylvania with the Crayola Experience in Easton. Fun fact, when I was in elementary school, we would go to the field trips there, like I'm talking late 90s, early 2000s, um, and the crime rate there was almost 1.5 times the national average there. Yet, we couldn't go to New York because of 9-11 or we couldn't go even go to D.C. because of 9-11. Like, what the, what the fuck is that? So you're going to put us where we could actually get hurt versus whatever. Moving on. Groundhog Day, which was my first video and, the, I mean, the review was my last video I just did, takes place everywhere February 2nd. And the only one that is actually worth a damn is the one that takes place in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. So you can go fuck yourself, Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. The Philadelphia Eagles were an American football team that were inducted into the NFL in 1933. Of the 57 big games, the Eagles have only won one in 2017, and they just lost this last season, which, I mean, it was terrible. The Pittsburgh Steelers American football team was originally called the Pittsburgh Pirates, which formed in 1933, but in 1940, they changed their name over to the Pittsburgh Steelers, who have won six of the 57 big games in 1974, 1975, 1978, 1979, 2005, and 2008. In 1943, due to some, I don't know, there's something going on over, you know, in Germany and Japan, and uh, I don't know. Um, both the Eagles and the Steelers were lacking the number of players that are required for a full complement team. So the Phil Pitt Combine, or more passionately known as the Steagles, were formed with players who were required to hold full-time jobs to support support the war effort. Bonus fact, Ted Doyle, a player on the team, worked for Westinghouse Electric and later, after the war, learned that the work that he did assisted in the Manhattan Project or helped design the creation of the atomic bomb. The Philadelphia 76ers, or the Sixers, were formed in 1946 as the Syracuse Nationals in Syracuse, New York, and were relocated to Philadelphia in 1963, upon which they underwent the name change. They won one national championship as the Syracuse Nationals in 1955 and two as the Sixers in 1967 and 1983. 
The Philadelphia Flyers, also known as the Broad Street Bullies, were formed in 1967. They've won two Stanley Cups in 1974 and 1975. The Pittsburgh Penguins, also known as the Pens, were also formed in 1967. They have won five Stanley Cups in 1991, 1992, 2009, 2016, and 2017. The last National League team, the Philadelphia Union, is the only Pennsylvania soccer club to compete at the NLS level, which I'm guessing is National League Soccer. Who, who watches soccer anyway? Football. They were founded in 2008 and have yet to win a title. Forbes Field was the first baseball stadium built in the United States, and it was built in Pittsburgh in 1909. The town of Jim Thorpe in the Poconos was named in honor of the Sac and Fox Nation Native American who played basketball, collegiate football, professional football, professional baseball, and won two Olympic gold medals. Hanover, Pennsylvania is known as the snack capital of the world due to the establishment of many well-known food companies within its city borders in the 20th century. Companies that bring fame to the name are primarily Utz and Snyder of Hanover. Other companies of note from Pennsylvania are Hanover Foods, Hers Snacks, Martin's Potato Chips, Stouffer's Biscuit Company, Heinz Condiments, and Hershey's Foods. Famous Pennsylvania foods besides the snack companies are the Philly Cheesesteak, Water Ice, Soft Pretzels, and Tasty Cakes. Eastern State Penitentiary was a former state prison located in Philadelphia that was opened in 1829 and closed in 1971. It housed famous bank robber Willie Sutton and American gangster Al Capone. Eastern State Penitentiary had indoor plumbing before the White House did. This is the longish one, so bear with me. I'm just going to have to read this straight. Due to a police standoff in 1985, Philadelphia Police Department dropped two explosive devices from a helicopter into houses in the Cobbs Creek area occupied by MOVE members, an organization focused on black empowerment, animal rights, and anarcho-primitivism. The resultant explosions caused a fire to break out, which intentionally left unattended by the Philadelphia Police Department, and burned down 61 homes, leaving 200 people, 250 people without houses, killing six adults and five children. Three Mile Island was, was an operational nuclear power plant just outside of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. On March 28, 1979, it suffered a partial meltdown that scored a 5 on the 7-point nuclear incident scale, which was caused widespread evacuation and mass hysteria and distrust in nuclear power in the United States. But let it be known, nuclear power is safe, and if you don't believe me, there are... I'll make another video. It's the, now's not the time. Famous bands to perform out of Pennsylvania in no particular order. Hall and Oates, Boys to Men, The Bloodhound Gang, Breaking Benjamin, CKY, Poison, The Menzingers, The Dead Milkmen, The Wonder Years, Fuel, One Step Closer, Title Fight, The Roots, Kid Dynamite, and Circus Survive. And there are, there are plenty more. There are plenty of other people that you can just tangentially say they're from Pennsylvania. Um, like apparently like Kiss. Uh, not Kiss, um, Pink went to high school in Doylestown or something like that. Like, there's other, so many other people that are tangentially related to uh, Pennsylvania. Taylor Swift was born in Reading, Pennsylvania, and Pink was born in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. The Battle of Gettysburg was the bloodiest battle fought north of the Mason-Dixon line during the American Civil War fought between July 1st to 3rd, 1863. The Union successfully repelled the Confederates Unfortunately, at the cost of 23,049 soldiers and about 23,000 to 28,000 Confederate soldiers. An estimated 3,000 to 5,000 horses died as well. There have been two presidents born in Pennsylvania. Former President James Buchanan, born in Cove Gap on April 23, 1791, and served one term from 1857 to 1861. And con current President Joe Biden, born in Scranton the same year. Just kidding. Okay, he was born November 20th, 1942, and took up office in 2021. Pennsylvania is known as a Keystone State due to its location with respect to the other 13 colonies, as well as the fact that the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution were so signed and ratified there. The Pennsylvania Dutch are a culture of German immigrants who settled in Pennsylvania during the 17th to 19th century. They share similarities with local Mennonites and mostly today speak English, but they still speak Pennsylvania uh, Dutch German within their communities. Famous contributions from the Pennsylvania Dutch are the popularization of funnel cake, shoe fly pie, and hex signs. Speaking of Mennonites, 
Ann F. Beeler was an Amish-born businesswoman who is the founder of Auntie Anne's Pretzels. Her first location was opened in Downingtown in February of 1988 and has expanded to over 1,200 different locations worldwide. I even saw one when I was down in the Philippines at the uh, Clark Freeport like mall. I forget what the name of the mall was. All right. Fun fact, omnibus, because these ones don't warrant their own single facts, so I'm just going to put them all together. The state amphibian is the eastern hellbender. The state beverage is milk. The state bird is the ruffled grouse. The state dance is the polka. The state dog breed is the Great Dane. I almost said the Great Bernard. The state fish is the brook trout. The state flower is the mountain laurel. The state food is chocolate chip cookies. The state fossil, which I don't know why we have one, is the trilobite. The state insect is the firefly, or more locally known as a lightning bug. The state mammal is the white-tailed deer, which absolutely makes sense to me. The state soil, yet again, just like with why we have a state fossil, but anyway, uh, is Hazelton. And the state tree is the eastern hemlock. While Philadelphia is known as the U.S.'s first capital, from 1777 to 1778, the capital and the Continental Congress moved west of the Susquehanna River to York, where Congress adopted the Articles of Federation, proclaimed the first national day of Thanksgiving, and signed the French Treaty of Alliance. This relocation was due to the British capture and occupation of Philadelphia during the Revolutionary War. YorkCity.org likes to claim that they are the first national capital, but seems like kind of a stretch but i mean just let them have it they don't really have much else going on pima tuning i think is how it said pima tuning reservoir is the largest man-made lake in pennsylvania that shares its border with ohio gross the pennsylvania state flag was authorized by state in 1798 but wasn't enacted into law until july 13th 1907 oh boy here here comes the state flag facts the coat of arms seen on the flag was adopted in 1778. The design features a shield emblazoned with a sailing ship, a plow, and sheaves of wheat. Surrounding the shield are stalks of Indian corn, an olive branch, two horses, an American bald eagle, and a banner with the motto, Virtuity, Liberty, and Independence. Virtuity? Really? Virtue, Liberty, and Independence. The ship is to show the state's commerce being carried worldwide. The plow is to show Pennsylvania's rich natural resources. The three sheaves of wheat are to show the fertile fields and Pennsylvania's wealth of human thought and action. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. The corn stalk and olive branch are symbols of peace and prosperity. The bald eagle with its outstretched wings symbolize sovereignty with hope and purity and loyalty to the United States. That's a little bit mouthful. And the horses apparently represent horses. Because it's not mentioned anywhere else what the hell they're supposed to represent. Pennsylvania was founded in 1681 by a royal land grant to William Penn from King Charles II of Scotland over a debt owed to Penn's father. The original land grant included the territory that includes present-day Pennsylvania and Delaware. Pennsylvania, the, the name can be broken down into two pieces of Penn and Sylvania. Penn being named after the original landowner and Sylvania from Latin meaning from the forest. Pennsylvania was the second state officially ratified on December 12th, 1787, only five days after Delaware was ratified. But Delaware, don't forget, you were you were once part of us. Bethlehem Steel was founded in 1857 and was the one of the largest producers of steel during the 20th century for shipbuilding. Bethlehem Steel was instrumental in the wartime steel production for both World War I and World War II, and surviving the massive decline in steel demand managed to stay profitable until the 1970s. In the early 2000s, the company was declared bankrupt and its assets were liquidated. Bethlehem Steel was featured in Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen. The Pennsylvania Turnpike runs from Ohio all the way over to New Jersey and sees passes through the mountains that bisect the state. The Northeast Extension, also known as I-476, is a 132.1 mile run of highway that runs from Chester to Scranton, and for as long as I have been alive, it has always been under construction and it has always sucked. The Hershey Company, also known as Hershey's, was founded in what is now Hershey, Pennsylvania in 1894 by Milton S. Hershey. Coincidentally, 
The Hershey Creamery Company also was founded in Lancaster County in 1894, but they are not affiliated with each other, which was very difficult for me to conceive when I was a young kid. Sellersville, Pennsylvania was once the home of the Radium Company of America, which was a radium extraction plant used for gauges between 1914 and 1921. Apparently, they tried to quietly shut down the plant with little to no cleanup, and it has recently come to light that there is a lot of pollution in the soil as well as uh, in the well water, which is, you know, understandably problematic. There are 476 McDonald's in Pennsylvania as of 2023, which is about 4% of the total in the U.S. market. The Big Mac was invented by Jim Delegati, who owned a f- multiple franchises in the Pittsburgh area, the first of which was served in Uniontown in 1967. There are 466 bridges in Pittsburgh. There are 248 Wawa's in Pennsylvania, which makes up 25% of the U.S. market. Now, that is behind New Jersey, which has 280, which is 28% of the market, but that's still one more than Florida, which they don't deserve Wawa. According to Wawa's website, Wawa started as an iron foundry in New Jersey in 1803, which I am going to ignore because what the fuck does that have to do with anything at all? George Wood opened a small dairy processing plant in Wawa, Pennsylvania in 1902, but, excuse me. Due to the decline of the home milk delivery services in the 1960s, Graham Wood, which was George's grandson, opened the first Wawa food market in 1964 as an outlet for dairy products. The Pennsylvania oil rush started in 1859 where oil was found in Titusville, which was in high demand with the expansion of the use of locomotives in the U.S. Oil production peaked in 1891 after they were surpassed by western states such as Texas and California. In 1881, Pennsylvania produced more than 75% of the world's oil. The 1998 Pima Tuning tuning? Yeah, let's throw it up here. The Pima Tuning earthquake was a magnitude of 5.2 MB. Don't know why I put that acronym there, thinking that I would know what that unit was, which affected the northwestern part of Pennsylvania and part of Ohio. Gross which caused only minor damage, most notably affecting the well slash spring water. Some wells apparently dried up because of it, and others, one started that were decommissioned or like ran out of service, started operating up again. I'm guessing the shifting of the plates moved the aquifer around. So, Beginning on October 26, 1948, the town of Donora, which is about 30 miles south of Pittsburgh, was shrouded in fog, which became contaminated by industrial waste, or more commonly known as smog. The smog cloud stayed for five days until October 31st when it was smothered and dispelled by rain. Of the 14,000 residents, an estimated 5 to 7,000 fell ill because of the poor air quality. 400 required hospitalization and 20 people died. And that's according to the Mistonian. C.F. Martin and Company, or best known as Martin Guitars, was founded in Nazareth, located in the Lehigh Valley. Martin Guitars are best known for their acoustic guitars, though they... Apparently do a lot of ukuleles too. And they had a stint where they did a couple electric guitars for like a year or two. Zippo lighters were founded in Bradford and started in 1932. Apparently the name Zippo was chosen because the founder, George Grant Blaisdell, uh, liked the word zipper. So he named the company. The Wanamaker organ is the largest still operational or pipe organ in the world, located in the Macy's department store in Philadelphia. The highest point in elevation in Pennsylvania is Mount Davis at 3,213 feet. It is not a mountain worth speaking of as it doesn't even make the lower 48's top 50. But there's your fact. I've been to the top of Mount Davis and it's... You know, I'll just just put some pictures in right here. The southern state border is the Mason-Dixon line which was a demarcation between the North and the South during the American Civil War. Maryland is just on the opposite side of that line, and unlike every other state around us, you know what, not every state. It's pretty much just New Jersey and Ohio that I really, I absolutely detest, but Maryland I don't really have much of a problem with, and New York just, I don't know. I, I can't really think of anything to complain about. The Mercer Museum, Moravian Pottery and Tile Works, and the Fonthill Mansion are poured concrete structures that are built in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. 
The Mercer Museum was built after the Great Boston Fire of 1872 destroyed Dr. Henry Mercer's aunt's prized collection of medieval armor and that were stowed in wooden structures. The Moravian Pottery and Tile Works produces pottery and tiles. According to their website, tours are available where you can make and glaze your own tiles. So, when you're in Doylestown. Lastly, the Fonthill Castle was the home of Dr. Henry Mercer, who was an archaeologist and a tile maker. Big surprise there. His sprawling poured concrete house has over 44 rooms, 200 windows, 18 fireplaces, 10 bathrooms, and one powder room. Pearl S. Buck, who was a Pulitzer and Nobel Prize winner, owned a home in Perkesee, Pennsylvania. The Green Hills Farm is known as the Pearl S. Buck House, where her body was laid to rest on the property. The Monroeville Mall, which is located in Monroeville, which is just about 10, did I write 10? Yeah, 10 miles east of Pittsburgh, is the mall that is most famously known as the setting for the uh, 1977 George Romero movie, Dawn of the Dead. So, here we go on my random, you know, going down movie path. Um, so, more George Romero movies that uh, that took place in Pennsylvania. The opening scene for the 1968 film, Night of the Living Dead, the initial, and the initial zombie attack in the graveyard was filmed at the Evans City Cemetery, which is just outside of Pittsburgh. The house that was, uh, it was effectively a donation for that movie because, like, it was going to be demolished anyway. So the crew pretty much just did whatever they wanted to and they just abused that structure, you know, as they were filming it. Day of the Dead was filmed in a former mine shaft near Wampum, Pennsylvania, while all the scenes were filmed outdoor in Fort Myers, Florida. Gross. As to not eat more facts about George Romero, here is your omnibus. The Crazies, filmed in 1975, took place and was filmed in Evans City, Pennsylvania. Martin, 1977, was filmed in Braddock, Pennsylvania. Night Riders, filmed in 1981, was filmed in the Pittsburgh metro area. Creep Show, filmed in 1982, was filmed primarily in Pittsburgh and its suburbs. Monkey Shines, 1988, was filmed in, you guessed it, Pittsburgh, even though it was an adaptation of a Michael Stewart novel based in Oxford, England. And The Dark, in 1993, was filmed in Pittsburgh. Well, anyway, fuck Pittsburgh. Um, it's Philadelphia's turn, so... Man, no... You know, I'm not even going to try. Here's the spelling of it, but it's M. Night Shyamalan. Filmed a bunch of his movies that were based in the eastern side of the best state in the uh, United States. The Sixth Sense was filmed in 1999, and it takes place in Philadelphia. Unbreakable, filmed in 2000, was filmed again in Philadelphia. Signs, in 2001, was filmed in, on a Doylestown farm and at Del Valle University and in Morrisville. The Village, filmed in 2004, was filmed in Chadsford. Lady in the Water, filmed in 2006, was filmed in Levittown. The Last Airbender, filmed in 2010, was filmed all throughout Reading, but I distinctly remember that there were some scenes being filmed in a uh, like an abandoned quarry in Telford, Pennsylvania, because um, I may or may not have been in high school and may or may not have just decided to like sneak up there and didn't get didn't get in trouble with the cops, but they definitely like escorted me out of the area. Split was filmed in 2015 and it was filmed in Philadelphia. And Knock at the Cabin was filmed in 2023 and it's supposed to take place in Pennsylvania. However, I no longer believe in M. Night because he filmed it in Burlington County, New Jersey. Like, there's plenty of places in Pennsylvania. Why didn't you just do it in Pennsylvania? More movie trivia time. The Blob was filmed in Valley Forge, Chester Springs, Downingtown, Phoenixville, uh, and Royersford. And, true to form, the movie also takes place in Pennsylvania. The Raven Rock Mountain Complex is a nuclear attack survival bunker and is part of the Continuation of Government, or COG, plan. There's a lot of information on that, and I will go into that in an, an entirely other video. Criminally low, there are only 10 Waffle Houses in Pennsylvania. Edgar Allan Poe lived in many homes throughout Philadelphia from 1838 to 1844, but only one remains and is now a National Historic Monument. Poe wrote some of his most famous works while living in Philadelphia, such as The Telltale Heart, The Murders in the Rue Morgue, The Gold Bug, and his poem, The Raven. 
It is reported that Poe's happiest and most productive times in his life were spent in Philadelphia. So you can suck at Baltimore and Richmond. The Philadelphia Naval Shipyard is a formal naval shipyard that was used from 1801 to 1995. The shipyard saw its greatest use during World War II, which employed over 40,000 people, built 53 ships, and repaired 574. Ships of note that were built there are the USS New Jersey, BB-29. It was an Iowa-class battleship which fought in World War II, targeting Guam, the Marshall Islands, and Okinawa, which I wrote awkward after that because I wrote all these notes when I was still in Okinawa, and that was four months ago. Yeah, I'm pretty bad about these videos. Anyway, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, the Lebanese Civil War, and it is currently a museum in Camden, New Jersey. The USS Wisconsin, BB-64, fuck you, Sun Prairie, which is another Iowa-class battleship, fought in the Pacific Theater against the Japanese during World War II, against the Japanese fortifications. It was also part of the Korean War and Operation Desert Storm. She is currently a museum in Norfolk, Virginia. Again, gross. The USS Blue Ridge, or LCC-19, which was the first of the two Blue Ridge-class amphibious command ships, she was the last ship built in the shipyard, laid down on February 27, 1967, and launched on January 4, 1969. Nice. She participated in multiple notable Vietnam War operations, Operation Desert Shield, and Operation Desert Storm. Why did I write Operation Desert Shield twice? Whatever. She's still in commission, expected to exit service in 2039, and is homeported in Yokosuka, Japan. Lastly, not a ship, but the Philadelphia Shipyard was integral in the Manhattan Project, where the Naval Laboratories developed the liquid thermal diffusion technique for separating uranium-235 for use in the warheads. There are six active military bases in Pennsylvania. The Carlisle Barracks Army Base, Letterkenny Army Depot, New Cumberland Army Depot, Toby Hanna Army Depot, Naval Support Activity Mechanicsburg, and Naval Support Activity Philadelphia. When it opened in 1882, the Kinsua Bridge in McKean County was the longest and tallest railroad bridge in the world for two years, at 301 feet over the top of the valley and 2,100 feet long. Local legend states that a uh, local man robbed a bank of sometime around 1893 and buried his loot, which was between $20,000 to $60,000, by the bridge during his run from the cops. After hiding in the woods for days, he was found by the police without any money. As with most, most urban legends, there is little in the way of corroborating this actual story. There's no, from what I understand, like no like records of this bank robbery, but it was also the 1800s. And um, local legends are more fun when you just kind of just press the I believe button and just go search for that treasure yourself. So good luck disproving that one. The longest stone bridge in the world is the Roxville Bridge just north of Harrisburg, crossing the Susquehanna River. It was built in 1902 and is 3,820 feet long and is still currently in use by the Norfolk South Railway and Amtrak. The Jeep was invented by the Bantam Car Company in Butler, Pennsylvania. There is only one town in Pennsylvania as where everything else is defined as a city, a borough, or township, and that town is Bloomsburg. Centralia, Pennsylvania is an unincorporated borough in Columbia County that fell victim to an uncontrollable mine fire that was started in 1962 that is currently still burning, causing high levels of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and ground subsidence. There is currently only five residents living there as of 2022, and they are the last people who are legally allowed to live in there until they die. Perkasie's tree lighting ceremony was officially recognized as the oldest in the U.S., so suck it, NYC, in 2015. Ceremony has been documented to have occurred as far back as 1909. Oliver Hazard Perry's relief flagship, the USS Niagara, is ported in Erie behind the Erie Maritime Museum. It participated in the Battle of Lake Erie during the War of 1812. She still sails Lake Erie during the summer under the command of the Coast Guard. On September 11, 2001, United Airlines Flight 93 was among the four airlines that were hijacked by Al-Qaeda terrorist operatives in a coordinated attack against the World Trade Center Twin Towers, the Pentagon, and the U.S. Capitol Building, which was only suspected. The four hijackers were overwhelmed by passengers who, after hearing about the other hijackings uh, from cell phone calls, rushed the cockpit to retake, retake control. 
Fortunately, slash unfortunately, the struggle caused a plane to crash in Shanksville, foiling the plot to cause further destruction and harm. 33 passengers and 7 crew members lost their lives in the attempt to take control, and a memorial has been erected on the property of the crash. Robert Bob Hoffman founded York Barbell Company in 1932 in York. Bob is known as the father of world weightlifting from both his entrepreneurship and coaching of the American Olympic weightlifting team between 1936 and 1968. Pennsylvania ranks 31st among the 50 states in literacy as of 2023, ranking 87.4% based on the total percentage of literate persons in a given age group expressed as a percentage of that age group. But somehow Ohio is higher on that list at 90.9%, but thankfully New Jersey is uh, still uh, sitting lower at 83.1%. Last but not least, Pennsylvania ranks 30th among the 50 states in happiness as of 2023 ranking 50.54 on a scale out of 100, using 31 different metrics to factor in than averaged out. Unfortunately, New Jersey is higher on the scale at 58, but thankfully, Ohio scores lower at 48.19. Holy shit, that was, okay, that was a long video. Um, not just in the sense of the time that this video is going to be, but in the sense of, it, I've been recording this over the course of, I want to say, three to three to four months. Um... As you can, you can probably tell by that, by, you know, changes in shirts, um, changes in background, just, just general demeanor. I'm trying to get better about this, but uh, I have a lot going on in my life, so you're going to get these videos as I have time to make them. So, uh, if you have any recommendations for topics you want me to cover, I have some ideas in the, in the works right now, once I'm done, you know, finishing up this one. Uh, just leave a comment below, uh, please, you know. Hit the like button, subscribe, uh, you know, share this to your friends, tell people about it, and you know, just keep uh, keep word of mouth going because that's how this channel survives. And uh, hope to see you next time. Okay, bye.